Hi, I'm Jackie and thanks for joining me today. This is my channel, Hearth and Apron, where you're gonna find all kinds of creative homemaking content. Sometimes I'm trying to inspire you to get through life's everyday tedious tasks with some cooking motivation or cleaning or decluttering and organizing. And sometimes I'm trying to motivate you to have just a little bit of extra fun with your day with things like movie nights and holiday fun and adventures. Today though, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. This is going to be kind of a get to know me real chat. You know, I feel like so many people's lives have changed in the last two years. There is nobody that the pandemic has not touched and with so many other things going on in our world, I feel like so few people can say that they are the same person that they were two years ago and that they're in the same place. Now, some of us, it has been way worse and some of us have gotten through this fairly easily, but either way, I feel like we have all kind of come together in some way in this shared bond of this pandemic and how it has just changed everything. Now, joining me today in this collaboration is going to be two of my friends, Priscilla and Jen, and they both have just such amazing life stories and they have great content on their channels. And I'm so excited that they decided to join me in this collaboration. And I hope that you will check out the playlist that is in the description bar down below. I know I personally cannot wait to hear their stories and to hear how everything has changed for them. I also hope that you'll join me today in the chat bar down below. I'd love to hear your experiences and how you would answer some of these questions, how you have changed in these last two years and how things may have affected you less or more or things maybe that you don't want to ever do again because now you have a totally different way of looking at it. I am just so excited to get to know you better today and to get to show you a little bit more of myself. Go ahead, get cozy. As you can see, I'm in my jammies. Grab a drink and let's go ahead and have a talk. Okay, so let's start this conversation with who I thought I was when this all started. Because I mean, everything's about perception, right? Now, I did a lot of community work to do community building things in a local group that I was in. I had a lot of activities that I was doing. I felt like every single weekend I was busy and I had all of these travel plans and I absolutely loved to throw parties. You know, when my daughter was little, I used to love to throw theme parties for her for her birthdays and for her friends. As she's gotten a little older and she does not appreciate my contribution as much, I, you know, I didn't give up on my love. I started throwing parties for my friends and I. And so they've also done some amazing events but we've done like 80s night, there's been a 50s garden party. Actually, in January of 2020, we had just done the Great Gatsby 1920s inspired party. And I remember sitting down with a friend at the party and she was joking with me and she said, okay, so everything repeats itself every hundred years. So all of these things are gonna probably happen. And she was just teasing, right? And I remember one of the things she said was, we're gonna have a pandemic, it's how it rolls. It's just fate, right? And I remember thinking like, yeah, girl, we got doctors, we got penicillin, we'll be fine. And let's be honest, if I ever thought that the word pandemic was going to literally come into my stratosphere and like, I thought it was gonna be zombies, admit it. You thought if we were ever gonna have a pandemic in our lifetime, it was gonna be zombies. I was not prepared. And it's funny because my dad had always told me like, you know, prepare, you know, what happens if the world that we know it changes? and you have to kind of reinvent yourself and things. Like he unknowingly was always preparing us, right? And so I did kind of keep that to heart a little bit. And throughout the years, I've stocked up on a lot of things like hobby supplies, crafting things, you know, tools to do different kind of home improvements, gardening books and things to do that for inspiration. You know what I didn't stock up on? When March hit and all like all the news started going off, I went to the store because I looked at my cupboards and there was like nothing. I had like split peas and a pack of noodles. I don't know. I just was trying to eat fresh at the time where I would just kind of go to the store and pick things up. That way I wasn't just like eating a lot of extra carbs and random little munchies. Yeah, that's not happening again. Do you know what else I didn't stock up on was toilet paper. Could have predicted that. Like, who could have predicted that people would have valued toilet paper at such a high place? Um, totally blew my mind. And so I did actually have a really fun adventure to the grocery store for when we went to go stock up the household. And I will share a couple pictures. Now, obviously, this was back before it had really hit. 
it was still really, you know, it was kind of funny, almost comical, something that didn't seem real, like something that couldn't really happen. And so I did have a little bit of fun with this. You're going to see I borrowed my daughter's plague mask and wore some of my Renaissance gear, and I won't lie, it was a lot of fun. But obviously as time went on and the death tolls rolled in and people that we knew passed away or got sick and, you know, people lost their jobs and just life changed, it became a little less funny. So we luckily have been able to get through this really well. Um, and it's actually kind of funny. As all of this happened, I told you earlier I was planning all of these traveling ideas. We were going to stay at the Stanley Hotel in Colorado that summer. I'd already booked everything. Um, and that, if you don't know, is what inspired The Shining from Stephen King. He stayed there one night and it inspired the movie The Shining. And so I had been reading The Shining and preparing because when I go on a trip and do things, I'm OCD. Like I plan like a year in advance. I know what grocery stores I'm going to. I know what streets I'm going to go on. I do not like to get lost or not know my purpose when I don't know where I am. So I'm a prior proper planner. So I have been all up in the zone of The Shining. And I remember thinking, oh, it would be kind of fun to like just have my family like nooked in a place where like we really couldn't leave and we just really had to hang out with each other. And you know, with my daughter being like 15 at the time and my husband at like working, I just, you know, that literally wasn't like something that was actually possible. So I'm like imagining in my head like, ooh, that could be so much fun happened but I am glad to announce that we did not kill each other we passed the shining test but actually we really enjoyed having that extra time especially because my daughter is getting a little older getting to have those extra special moments with her was really special and something that I'll cherish forever um we my husband got furloughed for a while so we built a really beautiful potage garden and finished our fence and um while there were a lot of horrible things and changes throughout the world, I am grateful for that time that I got with my family. Um, and it really changed the way that we look at the world at large and the things that we want to do. And, you know, I remember thinking like, okay, two weeks, six weeks, couple months, six months, 18 months. And what, we're on year two? I'm not even going to try and speculate anymore. Let's be really honest, we have no idea what the future holds and if there's anything that COVID has taught us, it is that. All it is, like I feel at its core, it has said, treasure every moment and love your loved ones as long as you can because there is no promises and life is insane. But let's go ahead and talk about, you know, some of the other things that I was doing because, you know, we don't want to go down that troll road, right? <laughs> so. I actually started my YouTube right before the pandemic hit. Um, actually, yesterday was the anniversary of my second anniversary of my YouTube channel. And so I actually am so grateful for all of you for helping me support me in this journey, not only because it is helping me to find and kind of fulfill some dreams of mine in a career way, but also because I feel like it really helped my mental health in so many ways. For instance, and first and probably foremost, I hate cleaning. I know there are so many ladies on here and they're so cute and they talk about how they used to like organize their little sister's closets and do all of these things like just helping constantly to clean up in the kitchen and things like that. Yeah, I did my chores and what I had to. I have always hated cleaning. And so this channel has actually given me so much accountability and it has really helped me to learn my time management and maybe to get an idea of what it is that I'm actually capable of. And not only that, just on the mental health side, it has really helped me to kind of push myself to try some things that maybe I wouldn't have tried a couple of years ago. Actually, in my last video, we did a pie and a cheesecake. It was my first cheesecake. And if it hadn't have been for this YouTube channel, I'm sure that I wouldn't have actually tried it. So I'm so grateful to all of you. And you know, maybe I'm not throwing giant parties right now, but I am getting to share so much of my fun decor and family ideas and recipes with you that you have really helped me to get through this cycle in this life. Now, there are some things that like, I did probably before the pandemic that I don't know that I can do again anytime soon. You guys have anything like that? Let me know down in the chat bar. Like seriously, what are the top five things that you like don't know if you can do again? The Holderness family actually like really summed this up fantastically. Uh, I think they pointed out first and I, don't know how I ever 
ate the, like, the peanuts at a bar. Everybody's touched them. Gyms, people sweat. Like, I live in a small town. I'm sure in the big city, they always wipe everything down greatly. I, in the gyms that I grew up in, like, you were responsible for wiping down your own stuff, and I always did, but I think that if it was now, I'd be sitting there with my Lysol and my Clorox wipes, and like, people around me would be like, lady, it's clean. I don't know that I could do that again. Um, movie theaters. I don't know that I really want to sit in a closed box with everybody breathing each other's air. I'm, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for crowds, unless it's Disney. I can make an exception for Disney. I could go against my better knowledge, get myself a princess crown, I could do it. But in general, I don't think that uh, crowds are going to be something that I will be working with anytime soon. Also, I am really, like, turned, like, I love the grocery pickup. I love that that came through. I like not having to worry about finding all of my groceries. Now, six times out of ten, do they forget something, substitute for something wrong, or whatever. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't have to find the rest of those groceries all by myself. And I get to put it in my cart online and then maybe realize that you know, maybe I don't need those extra things that I just kind of wanted. So I have really enjoyed the online shopping and I don't think that that is going to be something that I will quit again. Obviously, I still go to in-person shopping, but a huge bulk of it will still be that online convenience. Now, don't forget to let me know what are the things that have really changed for you in that way. Now, one way that I feel like I've changed as a person, I don't know if I can do crowds. Like I said this earlier, like I was such a people person. Like I, I feel like deep down I was a people person because I felt like I needed to be a people person. I have my peeps and my homies and I love to see them. But as a whole, like for somebody that used to do community, like growing events, I've just been telling people I don't people right now. Um, and like I said, I'm so grateful for all of you because you guys have really helped me to keep that social aspect and there hasn't been that lack, of course, obviously for my friends as well. And so I have been incredibly blessed. But yeah, I just don't think that I can go back and do the things that I did before. Also airplanes. I want to go on an airplane so bad, but I don't know if I can do it. It's worse than the theater. It really is. Like, have this kind of problem let me know down below now i also want to know like do you feel like you're the same person i feel like i'm the same person but like i've really grown a lot i feel like i've really found what it is that i'm hoping for what my goals are what i'd like to do but i do feel like those goals have changed i feel like if you had asked jackie in 20 january 2020 what her goals were I wanted to travel everywhere. I wanted to make my channel grow. I wanted to have huge parties and just do all of those fun things and just bring the community together in all these ways. I've lost hope in mankind. They've showed me that they do not even care about their neighbor. There is no hope. I really think that that, you know, the little old lady who lived in the cave in the woods, she had something going. She had her heart in the right spot. Now for me, what I love a beautiful little manor hidden in the Pacific Northwest's like coastal like rainforest area. I specifically like the Olympic National Forest. It's my dream. Uh, and, and just hide from the world. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, I don't know. How have your goals changed? Do you still want the same things? Are you still in the same job? Do you still have the same like ambitions for five years from now? I don't even know what my five year plan is. At this point, it is just to be happy and to be with my family and to love each other and hopefully to make it to that Pacific Northwest dream. But I don't feel like it's like you can't plan anymore. Like there's no knowing what's gonna happen tomorrow and things can change so quick. I would love to hear your opinion on that. Um, really quick before I go, I wanna talk about where I'd like to be. And I guess I just did. Anyways then, um, I just really hope that this can help you to maybe think about where, how, where were you before? And where would you like to be tomorrow? 
And don't forget to let me know about it all down below. And don't forget to check out that playlist. And thank you so much for spending this little bit of time with me today to get to know me better. Talk to you soon.